Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Seely P. It's Friday the 30th of October and we have new mods. We also have a few updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Case IH Steiger series by Steenkamp modding the Man TGS 18500 skip pack uh, by Kotsiosp97. The Deutzfahrer TTV7 series by STV modding, the Farm Buildings Pack by Realistic Farmers, the Large Machine Hall by Nerotsk and the Residential Container by Nerotsk have all had updates today. Um, the Lizard slash Ural 44202 by Axery has also had an update today but wasn't showing on the website, that's why I haven't got a picture of it, but that has had an update also. Okay, now, these updates are either early for today or late for yesterday because these drop quite early and I'm not sure which it is because we didn't get any mods yesterday on Thursday so potentially these are yesterday's mods will we get any more mods later on today? potentially so we could have two mod reviews today but we'll see what happens um, as it stands at the moment I'm just going to take these as these are today's mods and we'll go from here directly in front of me we have got the Dufelsdorf MSS 3700 um, this is by Noah 1735. It will use 6.3 megabytes to download and it's seven slots on console. It is a leveler. We already have a Duvels we have a Duvelsdorf standard in game which I think is a three meter. So this is a bit wider um, used for leveling bunker silos, silage pits, that kind of thing. You will find it under tools, under levelers. So there's the standard one, the MSS 3000, yeah. So the MSS 3700, um, and yeah, all the things I've just said. Seven slots, there are no options available, you get what you get, and it's a leveller. We do have automatic and manual dexterity, dexterity over this one. If I open up this, we can raise and lower the level by L1 and circle on PlayStation controller, obviously. Like so. But if I do L1, I can manipulate the, the actual blade itself in or out and up and down manually if I want to get a particular height, a particular level or a particular angle. Um, so there you go, that's the Duvelsdorf MSS 3700 by Noah 1735. Moving on. We've got this. This is the transport tool, as this is, says on the side, transporter. This is by Bgamer003. Now, we had one of these the other day. This one's, a, I would say, a little bit more versatile. It comes in three different sizes. We've got standard there, which I think is 2,000. There's 2,500, which has three wooden sides on it. And then there's the 3,000 litre, which has all four sides on like this. They all come with straps, um, but they all have the possibility to be used as a bucket as well. Which does make it incredibly handy if, you, if you're mucking out and things like that. Um, it has a tip function for selling and, you know, so it's actually a very handy bit of kit, this. Um, this you'll find... Now, where was this? This was under Tools and Miscellaneous. There you go. Only 1,400 to buy. Well, for the I think for the standard version. It only comes in green. You can't get any other option. Oh, no, 1,500 litres, sorry. So 1,500 litre. Then if we get it with those side extensions it goes up to 2,500 if we get the front one on as well it takes it to 3,000 so 1,500, 2,500 or 3,000 litre um, this will use um, six slots on console and it's 5.56 megabytes to download now what I was going to try as you can see it's got straps this one does too manual or automatic for me in cab depending on how you want to go about it well, what I thought we'd do is, because I bought it out on the smaller one, I've got a little pile of manure there. I'm going to take the straps off, unfold, I can do like so. And the same with this, I can raise and lower automatically, L1 and circle raises and lowers. But if you are going to use it as a bucket, you then do have a bit of manual adjustment. So you can get a bit of a tip on it if you're trying to get it to, to touch the ground for clearing up like so and if I fold it and put the front back on oh, I've missed a bit oh no 
There we go. And away we go. Hands a bit of kit, that. Uh, I think we can unload here, or we. I think you can do it at a sell point. You'll get a trigger come if you're going to do that. But if I unload here, it will tip for unloading. Very handy bit of kit. Nice, that. That's the transport tool by B Gamer 3 What I'm going to do is drop that down, and we'll move on to the next of them. Uh, which I think we'll look at this one next. This is the Gvernland Tarup. I always say Tarup, but I think, yeah, Tarup. Uh, 12040D. It's by STV Modding. It will use... It's 6.5 megabytes to download. It's eight slots on console. This is a really nice, neat, tidy trailer. Um, it is only a silage, a forage trailer. So I keep saying, well, I suppose silage trailer. It is a forage trailer. It will only take forage-type crops, grass, hay, straw, um, silage, wood chip. This one does sugar cane, I'm not too sure. But, yeah, really nicely made, nicely detailed. A few different options available on this. We hook up. No, I just want to check. I think we probably do have the levelling thing. So that bit raises and lowers if you are using a forage harvester and you're spraying into that and you want to have that front chute open it makes stuff a little bit easier uh what else have we got well obviously the unload here lights with the indicators i don't think there's any beacons on this one pretty sure there's not we're going to use this again in a minute because we've got a couple of um silos and cell points and things so We'll have a look at those in a second, but this you'll find under tools, under trailers. There you go. Um, 52,000 for, I think, the standard version, because obviously there are a few options available. And as, it, as I said, yeah, it will do, um, it will do wood chip, chaff, grass, hay, straw, silage, and sugar cane. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, which changes the inside boards not the outer sections like so we can change the rim color to anything on that palette like so then we've got the option of trelleborg or michelin and i'm pretty sure on each of these under trelleborg we've got a standard we've got a wide and we've got it says it's a narrow it's narrow narrower than the wides i mean it's not technically a narrow like a row crop tire but it's narrower and then under michelin we've got standard a wide Oh no, there's no narrow one on that one, so standard and wide on the Michelin. Unload here, if I want to unload here. Like so. Yeah, it's a nice trailer, that. But we will get on to... Yeah, we'll probably take it over to Agri XJS in a little while. So there you go, the Gavernon Tarup 12040D by STV. Modding, moving on from that. We have got this over here. This is the HW6011 trailer. This is by Mr. Dynamite and Therux, Theruxy. I think it's Theruxy. I think that's how you say it. Apologies if it's not. Let's turn that up for a second. So, this is one trailer but various different configurations you can have it in. Again, another nice tidy trailer. Swivel axle front. Does have a trailer hitch on the back. That's why I got the, another one of them so you can see it kind of hooked up. That is the largest configuration at 12,000 litres. That's the bale configuration with straps. But it doesn't have to be bales. You can do pallets and whatever else you want to put on that. There are a few different options available on this. Um, it will use 15.45 megabytes to download. 10 slots. But this is one of those be warned trailers. And another reason why I always say it, and I always test it, at least I think I always do, um, for trailers. If you have it at its largest capacity, like this... That then only becomes a forage trailer. So be careful if you go for the largest one of this thinking it will take everything it doesn't. Again, it will only take your grass, hay, straw, um, wood chip, silage, um, I think sugar cane as well. But it won't do all the other crop types in its largest form. But we'll have a double check of that in just a moment. This you will also find under tools and trailers. There we go. Fairly cheap to buy. It takes all of those crop types, like I say, but only in certain configurations. We can change the main colour, which is the chassis, to anything on that palette, like so. We can change the rim colour, 
which changes the rims. And then design colour is the main body, but this this is the one that really surprised me. The orange is okay, the green is like, whoa! That's bright. Got a dark blue and a lighter blue. Then we've got capacity, 6,000 litres, 8,000 litres. Both of those will be fine for all crop types and all things it says it takes. The 12,000 is the one that, I, as far as I, I have checked it, I'm just now doubting myself, but no. Um, and then we've got the bale loading wagon are our options on that. Then we've got a choice of wide tyres or narrow tyres. Those are your tyre choices. So what we'll do, I'm going to take it over here. <laughs> I've already sold one load of stuff, but because there was the other trailer as well, I'm now thinking, oh, hang on. Chew cane, grass, straw, silage, wood chip, chaff, hay, yeah. So in the largest capacity, 12,000 litres, it will only take forage crops. Like so. So we go. That's the uh, HW6011 trailer. That's by Mr. Dynamite88 and Theroxy. Did I say 88 last time? Or did I say Mr. Dynamite? Sorry. Mr. Dynamite88 and Theroxy. Disconnect that and we'll whiz over here. We have got a disc harrow. This is a disc harrow by Tom Sky and Pisa PL. It's a 1.8 metre disc harrow. It will use 3.9 megabytes of download and three slots on console. There's a few options on this. We can change a couple of the colours and we can have a rear basket roller on here or not. Depends on, you know, what sort of style you're going for. And there we go. It disc harrows and gives you a cultivating state out to 1.8 litres. Which is exactly what it's designed to do. It's always nice when a mod does what it's supposed to. <laughs> right. This you will find under tools, under disc harrows. There we go. 2,000 to buy. Only requires 20 horsepower to pull. Runs at 9 miles per hour. We can change the design colour, which I think is the discs. Let's just check that first. Yep. Like so. Main colour is obviously the rest of it. The framework. And then we have type of roller on the back. Nothing. Tubular roller or string roller. Like so. Then design one or two changes the actual discs round. So you can have them smooth disc both, like, let's go back to one. So you can have the ridged disc at the front, smooth at the back. You can have smooth at the front, ridged at the back, both smooth, both ridged. And back off again. There we go. That was fairly straightforward. That's a disc harrow, 1.8 metre by Tom Sky and Pisa PL. Moving on from there. We'll go to this one next. This is the Lizard ORPE 100. This is by 76 Max. It will use 5.58 megabytes to download and is 10 slots on console. It's a well vehicle trailer. can be used for anything because it's got straps on. You can stick bales on there, pallets on there, whatever you like. But it does have rear ramps if you want to transport vehicles and things on it as well. Mowers, whatever you want to do. Nicely made. I like the light lighting on the sides that sticks out as well. Very tidy mod. Beacons on the rear as, as well. Always better to be safe than sorry. This you'll find under tools and low loaders. There you go, 13,500 to buy. Um, and like I say, oh, did I say four slots? 5.58 megabyte and four slots. Options available? There are none. You get it in yellow just as it is. Straps can be done from in-cab, R1 and R3, or you can do them manually, it's entirely up to you. Um, when we unfold it, L1 and X unfolds it, which takes those side straps off and puts the legs down. And then we have to manually 
L1 and right stick side to side will then put the rear ramps down. So the ramps don't go automatically, but the uh, sort of unlocking of them does. Then L1 and X locks that back up again. Lights, like so, you've got the lights down the side, which I, I really do like those. Beacons in the back. Now I keep saying about, <laughs> I said it the other day with the low load of stickiness, the locking script, for some reason like that, that phrase I keeps, keeps falling out of my head. And every time I go to do low loaders and stuff, I say, oh yeah, the, the stickiness of the deck, or, you know, the locking script, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I find it so difficult to remember that. But what I wanted to do was see, sometimes they work really well, sometimes they don't. Bear with me a second. So what we'll do... Go up a little bit of speed. Then brake suddenly. It's pretty good. Do the same thing, backing up and stopping. Now whether or not if you impacted something and stopped immediately... Not really much movement. Even with the tractor on it's not too bad. I mean, you're not going to get up... You shouldn't be calling at ridiculous speeds anyway. There is a little bit... I mean, it's going to be top-heavy, and it should be top-heavy. But, yeah, no movement of the tracks on the back of there so far. That's not to say it won't, but it hasn't done for me. So there we go. That's the um, Lizard ORPE 100 by 76 Max. Moving on from there, we have got... What should I start with? We're going to start with the Lizard ESF 46. This is by Agro Tono. This is a tedder. When I first saw the picture of it, seeing the little the round rakes, I thought, oh, we've got another wind rower, but it's not, actually. There we go. Rakes on the back. Now, this you'll find under tethers, because that's what it is. 15,000 to buy. Uh, I've got to find it on my list. It's 0 0.45 megabytes download. Five slots for the first one. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so. Now interestingly, and something that I wanted to check, is generally speaking with a tether, you lower it, and over you go, and it will change stuff. But as you can see, that's not the case. With this one, it does say turn on tether. Now I'm assuming that's just a scripting thing because the tethers, generally speaking, have to be switched on to get the, the things rotating. So I'm assuming that's why. So if you do L1 and square, then drop it down. Now it works as you might expect the tether to work. So if you are pulling it along the ground thinking, well this is just a rake, this should just work. It does need to be turned on before it will actually do any tedding. So there you go, that's the Lizard ESF 46 by Agro Tono. Turn that off, disconnect. On to the next, we have got the Kronos Swadro TC930. This is by ARM Team. Now, again, I had a quick look because when this popped up, I suddenly thought, wait a minute, we had one of these the other day, but the one the other day was a slightly different design, and this has got a few little tricks up its sleeve. Um, very nice and neat design. Nice, neat, tidy work on it. There are a few options available on this. This will use 8.08 .08 megabytes to download, seven slots on console. We can change the rim colour, we can change the colour of these sections, all the bits that at the moment that are cream. You've got like a cream, chrono cream, there's a yellow, more yellow, and is it white? We'll have a double check in a second. We do have the option to have a beacon or not. But this is actually rather cool. And you will see why. I know if I say, oh, it's a wind row. We've got wind rowers. I know we have, but, you know, it's another one. 70 horsepower required. Runs at 11 miles per hour. 33,000, but then obviously there are a few additions we can have. So we can, as I said, change the rim colour to anything on that palette, like so. Then the main colour is kind of all the bits at the moment, which are the kind of chrono sort of cream colour. It's more of a yellow, but then we've got a very yellow, and then there's a more of a 
very light beige on there. Let's change all those parts. We can have it without beacon or with beacon on the back. And then we've got an option of 380R15s or we can have 380 55R17. So narrower and wider, more kind of flotation tyres as an option. Now, what I like about this though. That would help if I hooked up to it, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, we've got a bit of swivelling for steering, which makes life easier in tight spaces. L1 and X opens it up. Now we can lower it down and we can just start wind rowing as is at the moment, which is all very nice. If I raise that up though, if I go L1 and right stick side to side, I can then adjust my width. I assume out to 9.3, it's not going to go more than 9.3. R1 and right stick side to side opens out the other one. So depending on widths and things, if you get to an area where you've got a, a narrower bit to get through or, you know, these are a bit more adjustable, which I think that's quite a handy thing to have actually. Drop it down. And it will do the job that it does. It's a wind rower, that's what it's supposed to do. But I, I just I like that adjustability on that. It's pretty cool, that beacon on. And there we go. That's the Kronos Swadro TC930 by ARM Team. Raise that up. If I fold that now, will it automatically close those up? I think it leaves them in their extended position. Yeah. So if I do that again, I can then put them down myself. So you, you've got a bit more adjustability. You can have one out, one not, both out, both not, whatever you want to do. I mean, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? But just thought I'd mention it while I'm here. Actually, while we're here, let's have a look at this one, shall we? So, while we are next door, we, excuse me, we have got this. This is the Hall Silo by Cave Modding. This will use 14.35 megabytes to download, 16 slots on console, and it is a silo. It holds, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I want to say 800, but I think it might be 500,000 litres. It's a big old building, but it's one of those ones as well that because of the capacity, they're showing the fact that that is the capacity it holds. Often you'll get silos that are very small, and have a massive capacity or vice versa you have ones that are massive with a tiny capacity but you know nicely detailed all the doors open we've got drive through on one side for loading into the silo and then we've got drive through the other side for collecting from the silo nicely marked cross in the middle so you know exactly where you're going to be for collecting we do have light switches the light switches correspond also with the doors to get the light switch you want to go at 90 degrees to it 90 degrees to it and then you'll get the light switch option come up if you come at it front on you tend to get just the door and not the light switch but yeah really nicely detailed nicely textured very cool this you'll find under placeables under silos there we go, 500,000. I knew I didn't want to say the wrong thing, but this will take your main crop types. It will also take um, silage and pig food, this one. So 120 grand to buy, um, as I already said, I think I already said, 16 slots, um, 500,000 litre capacity. Not bad at all. Very cool indeed. Moving on from there. Uh, right, we've got this. This is the wooden shack. Kind of pine pole construction. Thrown together, tarp over the top for storing whatever you want to store under it. That's entirely your prerogative. This will use one slot. Um, 0 0.74 megabytes to download. This is by Ivankio, Taylan and Agro Mods. The texturing is really good on this as well. Little thing. Are they, is that bungees or ropes that are attaching the tarp on there? Regardless. Very nice. 
100 sheds, 5,000 to buy, and one slot. Can't go wrong with that. Um, just actually checking to my right to make sure it doesn't say whether it's seasons ready or not. Again, generally speaking, most shelters and things are now, but not all are. So I can't say for definite. It doesn't say in the mod tub whether it is or not, and it didn't say in the store menu that it is or not. But there you go. That's by Avankio, Taylan, and Agro Mods. Moving on, we've got this. This is the park bench. This is by Taylan and Agro Mods. This will use 0 0.24 megabytes to download, four slots. Now, just want to check to see if a switch comes up for the light. I assume the light is automatic. Some aren't, some are. Some lamps and um, lanterns and various different things do have a switch. It's just a decorative object. Just there. Um, this you'll find under placeables, under decoration. There we are. 800 to um, buy, and you buy it and place it. It's a decorative object. And that's what it's for. There you go. That's by Taylan Agro Mods. Right, something a bit more kind of um, seasonal. We've got this. This is the Halloween pack. It's by Rowley Christie One. Um, it will use 9.21 megabytes to download. Um, they are I'm trying to think now three slots for each of the pumpkins for the first one and the coffin and only one slot for the ghost these do light up at night which we're going to do just at the very end I think um, and they are yeah it's just because I think it's Halloween tomorrow isn't it yeah 31st Halloween tomorrow so a decorative object generally speaking Halloween will probably get I know giants normally do the coding tweak where any people walking around turn into zombies. I'm assuming we'll get that again this year. We shall see. I like all the different the faces. Um, we've had various different ones before. Last year we had a huge pumpkin, didn't we? Sure we did. So, these you'll find under... Placeables and miscellaneous, I think this one was. Not decorative. So, pack Halloween. The first one... 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Let's say three slots each for the first one. Um, three slots for that and then one slot for the ghost. All 1,000 to buy, but these do pay you. You get paid per hour. Um, eight on, on normal economy, it's eight per hour per one you place. So whether that's pounds, euros or dollars, whatever you're set on, you'll get paid. So I say, right at the very end, I'm going to skip through to the night and we'll see those lit up. That's the pack Halloween by Rowley Christie 1. Now we're on two. Now I said this in the last mod review and got this horribly wrong. Now this wasn't showing on the website mod hub as being released, but it's here. This is Agri XJS. This is from Lone Oak. This will use 19 slots, 16.6 megabytes to download. Um, this is a cell point. Uh, um, how many slots? I just said 16 slots. This is by GeForce Modding with permission assistance from Oxygen David Bullet Bill. I want to say Lone Wolf as well. It, again, that wasn't showing on the Mods Hub website and on the actual store menu. It didn't go far enough. It didn't show whether it did. So I'm, I'm going to say Lone Wolf as well because a lot of these from um, Lone Oak have been as well. So, so it's a really big, you know, it is a sell point. In essence, the bit you want is this bit here, but it's the low oak sell point, the XJS. So that's what you want. Now, it did say on the mod hub when I was going to install it that this takes, I want to say 29, 29 different crop types covering lots of different mods and various different things as well. And I was racking my brain trying to think of 29 different things it could possibly take. If we go into the menu, um, agri is at the top. There are certain things it doesn't take. Um, it doesn't take eggs or wool, um, seed, anything like that. And it doesn't take any of your forage crops, so it won't do total mix ration, silage, anything like that. But it definitely said, I'm, I'm sure it was 29. I will check, and when I edit this, it will either come up with a thumb or not, or I'll put a little bit of text up to say what it says um, in the mod hub. But it's a sell point for all sorts of stuff. 
I think it takes pig food. But anyway, yeah. And that's that's it really. I mean it's nicely detailed, it you know, it's a sell point. Oh, I suppose we want to have a look at how much it costs, don't we, really? <laughs> That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, this is also placeables and miscellaneous. There we go. 290,000 to buy. And as I said, it's 19 slots. So there you go. That's by GeForce Modding, Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, Lone Wolf. And that's it for the mods for now possibly for today we'll see what happens later you can bet as soon as this is rendered edited uploaded um we'll get a load more mods drop for today but that doesn't matter i'll just do another mod review not a problem so what i'm going to do is skip through to the darkness i have got some uh another set of these set up away from buildings and things just so we get a better look at night so i'm going to see you in a moment and there we go that's them all lit up that's a nice little pack that. Actually what I didn't check, which I probably should have done, is whether or not Oh no, that went a little bit weird. I wonder whether or not the coffin opened or something scary came out of it, but it doesn't seem to be anything coming up. But there you go. Now, if this is it for the mods for today, have a lovely weekend. If it's not, I'll see you later on for another mod review. Whichever one it is, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.